Hey, welcome back to All Power Labs. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the gasification control unit with two of the people who designed and built and helped program it, what it does, how it works, and how it might help you with your work in gasification. Right back here. Hey. Hey. Hello, my name is Jay Hasey, and I went to school at Radford University in Virginia, and I got my chemistry degree. Hi, my name's Gio, and uh, I am a PhD in computer science and computational biology from MIT. We're working on. Well, I'm soldering some of these boards right now. We finished, we partially finished them last night, and placed all the tiny pieces on here by hand, and then now I'm populating them. Uh, to this extent right now. So, this is the GCU. It's the gasifier control unit. It w this is a measurement and control board which is specifically geared toward gasification or any kind of chemical process analysis and control. The nickname of this project is the kitchen sink because it basically has everything you might want for industrial or hobbyist chemical reaction process and con process control and monitoring. This office offers us solutions about how to um, process a large range of fuels because the reactor, the downdraft reactor is very sensitive. As we change those fuels and the parameters change, the flow rates change, and so we're able to monitor and offer feedback loops into the system. So we have different sections on this board here. This is 16 thermocouple inputs, which is a generous complement of thermocouple inputs. We have four differential pressure inputs over here. You can use these for gas flow rate measurement by using orifice flow meters. Uh, you can measure pressure drops across your filter, across your reactor, uh, figure out what's going on inside there. We have eight switched MOSFET uh, outputs. These will run DC motors, solenoids, uh, glow plugs, any kind of high power DC things. Well, these are, there's three outputs for hobby servos, like Futaba servos, the kind uh, the radio control guys use. Uh, you can use these for operating butterfly valves uh, for controlling gas flow rates, uh, ball valves, um, different kind of things like that. We have a CAN bus interface if you want to interface this to a car or any kind of motor that uses CAN bus control. We have a timer input for measuring RPM. We have auxiliary analog inputs. We have a USB interface for your computer. We have an RS-232 serial interface, and we have a SD card slot, which we're planning on using for data logging. And this whole thing comes with a display. It's a four line, 20, 20, four line by 20 character display, and these buttons control a basic menu application. So basically this thing is your all-in-one process control kit. You can get this out of the box. We ship this with software so that already on it. So when you get out of the box, you plug in a bunch of thermocouples and motors and stuff, and you can you can fire it right up and you can start measuring and controlling things immediately. The data interface on this is open source, and the source code that we ship with it, I mean the software that we ship with it, is shipped with source code. So you can go in and hack whatever you want. And we've based this on the Arduino environment, which is a very easy, very accessible, open source, free development environment for microprocessor hacking. And it's very easy to get started with. It takes, you know, maybe an hour to get up and running and write your first microcontroller program. What's this over here? Well, that's for plugging in the Joe cell. So if you're uh, one of the uh, fortunate few who owns a free energy machine called a Joe cell, I'm sure everyone will be familiar with it. Um, that's where you plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea is that we're trying to optimize the parameters around different types of biomass across the board. I'm like coconut shells in Papua New Guinea, or if are like bamboo chips in China, or you know all of these parameters change. The down downdraft gasifiers can be pretty sensitive to fuel types, and so we want to be able to liberate people to. Um, for instance, it is quite easy to lock down the parameters of pellets or maybe a certain type of wood chip, but that's an ASTM fuel, and we're liberating people to be able to use any type of fuel. So this is basically your all-in-one, standalone, does 
everything chemical and chemical engineering and physical process control kit. And it does it all at a very reasonable price and we supply it in a way that it's particularly suited for gasifier running and gasifier research and you won't you won't find this on any other product anywhere at this kind of level of price and uh, functionality. And it's open source so it's hackable so you can do whatever you want with it.